For the next part of my adventure, I was heading through the Pembroke and Milford Haven area. It's a very industrial area, and some people choose to miss this section out. Personally, I think it's all part of the journey, and it's good to experience the whole area. And the oil and coal industries are a big part of Wales's history, so it's good to see. And there's a huge oil refinery, and I found that you can see this refinery for a long time, maybe even a week, all the way up to St David's. Because this section of the trail keeps looping in and out, it feels like you're in the same area for quite a long time. Pembroke is a nice town with lots of shops and nice pubs, so it's a good place to resupply. I set up camp a bit earlier this evening, as a few miles away is Sandy Haven, which has a bridge that you can only cross at low tide, otherwise there's a long inland diversion. So you want to try and time your crossing of this area. You've got a window of about four hours, so two hours either side of low tide to cross. Some nice young lamb's quarters or fat hen here. These are really nice green. I'll take some of these for my dinner tonight. And of course, we've got some more sea beet. I'm eating this pretty much every day at the moment. So check out this spot. This has got to be my camp spot for tonight. So I was just walking along the trail here and spotted that down there. Really nice little flat spot which I'm pretty sure has been used as a camp spot quite a few times yeah I'm gonna be stopping here I think and then a bit of an early start and I've not got too far to go till Skomer Island yeah for sure that'll do me that's perfectly flat there that's nicely sheltered as well set up a little cook spot here there's a view of Scotcomb Island I think that is
That was a great camp spot, that. That's the best sleep I've had since I've been here. Went to bed at about 11, slept straight through till 7. And I got straight up and onward to Skoma Island. There's loads of sea thrift there. Have a look at this patch. I've lucked out two nights in a row finding camping spots. This is another lovely place to set up camp. The coastal paths running alongside that wall. And there's a bit of a mound here. And a nice spot here. So I'll be setting up there where my bag is. Thank you. 
snap brake. Got a nice patch of thistles here. I choose one where the flowers haven't opened yet. Like this one here. And then just get your knife and trim off the outer spiky leaves and stems. So just trimming back this main stem, getting rid of all the spikes to be left with a nice bright green stem like that. It's going to be pretty tough down the bottom so I'm not going to bother with that. Just cut it off there. side snack. So it's a bit like celery, same texture as celery but it doesn't have that bitter flavour, it's really nice and sweet. Took a short detour so I could visit St David's. The city of St David's isn't actually on the coastal trail but it's only about a mile detour up some country roads to reach it. There's not much in the way of shops between St David's and all the way up to Fishguard so it's really worth stopping here to resupply. St David's is the smallest city in the UK and it's classed as a city because it's got a cathedral. the most westerly point of mainland Wales, the western tip of St David's Head. It's amazing around here. If you want a couple of days of really nice walking then maybe stay somewhere around St David's and I'm sure you can do a few circular walks around the coastal path and then back to St David's because it's really really amazing. Off there in the distance that's Skoma Island, where I was quite a few days ago now. And then just beyond those islands there, you've got open ocean all the way to Brazil, probably, in that direction. <laughs> 